There are many games, many, many games, thousands upon thousands of games that Doom has seen, and Dungeon Master Doom has only seen a small amount of these games, because there are so many, 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 many games. And out of all of these games, Dungeon Master Doom pondered a question, a question for you. This question is, out of all the games you have played, if you could p pick the ability scores within the game, what would they be? Oh, now, I will try to run through a stack of books as quickly as I can so the video doesn't last too long. Let's see what I have down here. <laughs> GURPS! GURPS only has four ability scores. Intelligence, Strength, and Health, and Dexterity. Now, as opposed to Dungeons & Dragons, which has Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma, if you don't have these scores memorized, you are not a true gamer. Now, I brought up Dungeons & Dragons, because they are the first ones who created the ability scores. But I digress. I should move on. We have Rifts. Now, unlike GURPS, which condensed Dungeons & Dragons ability scores, this one expanded upon them. And in Dungeons & Dragons, Charisma is known as a dump stat. Well... Rifts has a lot of dump stats. <laughs> Dungeon Master Doom played this game a lot because he didn't know any better. But this game is still very cool and worth checking out if you've never played it. The game system itself is broken. But let's see, the ability scores, if I can remember, are IQ, Mental Endurance, Mental Affinity, Physical Strength, Physical Prowess, uh, Physical Endurance, Physical Beauty, and Speed. On to the next game. That's this one. Vampire. Vampire has nine. Vampire has one of my favorite selections of ability scores. And they are divided into Physical mental and social. There are three ability scores for each one. The, the standard physical one, strength, intelligence, dexterity. The standard... No, it's not standard. It's slightly different for the mental scores, which are intelligence, wits instead of wisdom, and a perception, which should be a ability score in Dungeons & Dragons. It should be. Um, and then the social ones are Charisma, oh, Manipulation, and Appearance. On to the next game. Oh, Heroes! Dungeon Master Doom hasn't played this game. This one has 16, 16 ability scores. The first six are the standard ones, Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intelligence, and then instead of uh, Wisdom, it has Ego, this is a superhero game, and the superheroes have an Ego, and uh, Presence instead of Charisma. Then it has uh, Offensive Combat Value, Defensive Combat Value, Offensive Mental Combat Value, Defensive Mental Combat Value, uh, speed, energy, defense, recovery, 
endurance body and stun oh, I did it all right what's the next game oh dark heresy this game well the older games workshop games had almost as many ability scores as here that's the hero system um but they've reduced it to uh, seven and they are strength toughness agility intelligence perception willpower and fellowship now the older ones oh they had movement weapon skill ballistic skill oh strength toughness wounds initiative I think I think it was initiative attacks dexterity leadership intelligence cool willpower and fellowship mm. now I think I can do one more game oh well I have another book here cyberpunk 2020 this is another one of doom's favorite games Oh, now these ones are pretty standard, but they gave them futuristic names, and it does have a new type of stat you don't see in the other games. Um, they have intelligence, reflex, cool, uh, attractiveness, luck. Luck was from Tunnels and Trolls, now that I recall. Tunnels and Trolls was the second role-playing game ever made, and they simply just took wisdom from D&D and changed it to luck. Uh, let's see, what else was in there? Uh, movement, uh, body, and empathy. And then the, the special one in Cyberpunk is the tech ability. Technology became so integral in the Cyberpunk future that every human being is so connected to it that it became just a, it's an ability, an innate ability in that world. And I think that will do it for my rundown on just a couple games with their ability scores. And Dungeon Master Doom would like to know what are your favorite ability scores in your favorite games? Yes, I'm sure there will be thousands, thousands upon thousands of ways to answer this question. 